As someone who has used carrot oil in the past 5 years, today I will be showing you the best way to make your own carrot oil for skin lightening at home. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. Uh, good to have you new subscribers, you're welcome. Um, existing subscribers good to have you back on this channel once again so today we'll be making our carrot oil with cold pressed coconut oil so the next step I want to take is to wash my carrots as you can see I like to wash my carrot like these carrots I got are really clean so I don't have to use the pillar to scrape out the skin a lot of people make this mistake without knowing thinking they are trying to wash out the dead no tuba crops retain some of their nutrients in their skin or in their back so you you're very careful when you want to spill out um your tuba crops out so that's the reason i will not be using that pillar you're seeing over there i'm just showing you for um explanation sake so you see i wash my carrots properly and then the only thing i would have to do that looks like scraping is to just spill out the part that looks dried out already or um, um about to get bad so now um, after washing the next thing i want to do is to start grating with a clean grater so i am grating you can see the part i'm using to grate my carrot that's the preferred part to grate out your carrot because it gives it this the perfect size if you make it too tiny it's going to end up looking all watery and you don't want too much um, too much um, water or moisture to get into your formulation so i'll grate this out completely and we'll move over to the next step so i'm done with grating my carrots and as you can see this is five um, carrots i've grated and i'm going to just go right in to put it into my glass jar as you can see so i'm about putting it in where it will be kept for infusion so um i'm using a spoon because i don't want the whole place messed up because the mouth of the bottle is actually a bit smaller so i'm done putting my carrot inside my glass jar the next thing i want to do right now is to pour my carrier oil don't forget the oil we are using here is cold pressed coconut oil you can use heat pressed coconut oil to um, infuse your carrots it's still fine as long as it's not overly cooked okay um i mean the heat press so i'll just pour i have over there 300 ml of cold pressed coconut oil because i want to achieve a 200 or 250 ml bottle size now any size you want to achieve make sure that you're putting something a little bit extra because trust me the carrot is still going to soak up some quantity of the oil no matter how you press it at the end of the whole process so you just add like 50 ml extra to whatever quantity you want to infuse your carrot with the basic thing there is that you must ensure that the oil covers the carrot quantity okay so if that doesn't happen before i continue please if you have not subscribed to this channel kindly go back and subscribe and click on the notification button so you can get notification on the next um, um post okay so that's the carrot oil properly infused and this is it after three days as you can notice on this video i'm having a different nail polish right so now the next thing that i'm going to do is to pour it into the frying pan you can use a pot um, or whatever you have available but ensure that you're going to be doing this on a very low heat okay so you don't destroy the nutrients of the carrot oil we have just infused right so people make this mistake of soaking up carrot oil in a carrier oil and then sh giving it a shake and then says uh, the color the color has of the oil has changed so therefore the carotene is out we can now say we have a carrot oil that is so wrong if you've been doing that before stop it it's so so wrong and you're getting you're not getting the maximum effect of your carrots so carrot oil is known to contain vitamin a b c d and e it contains also antioxidants that are very powerful like the beta carotene and good for its anti-aging and um, fighting of wrinkles so carrot oil is also known to contain natural carotene right 
and carrot oil is also rich in properties that rejuvenate and heal the skin now one of the one that is one of the um, um, benefit that is very popular is that the carrot oil helps in lightening the skin naturally that is probably the one that a lot of people know because it helps lighten their skin right so another one is that it reduces the appearance of scars it contains skin cell regenerative properties it um, helps um, um, nourish the scalp and the hair it adds shines and luster to your hair so carrot oil is not just good for your skin alone it's excellent on the hair it's actually great if you know carrots if you know carrot a lot you know that carrot is actually beneficial to your natural hair so these are the benefits of carrot oil right and no wonder most skincare brands and skincare companies infuse carrots into their creams and their soaps now you know why so when you can get the the, the natural carrot benefit then why do you have to go for something that is synthetic okay guys so our carrot oil, um, our oil is about to be ready because as you can see the carrots are becoming a bit crispy and dry here just have to turn off the heat okay so it doesn't get burnt now the one way you can know that your carrot oil is ready is that the carrot shavings begin to come up a little bit on the oil and it begins to get dry and thinner right that way you can know that your carrot oil is ready not necessarily the color because some people just come soak up carrot and leave it for 12 hours and say it is ready the color has come out no that is really wrong you've probably been doing your carrot oil the wrong way you have to infuse it leave it for at least three days in fact three days is just the best time to keep it and then you fry just like i did in this video on a low heat and then you filter just like this if you're doing it that other way because you think the color is out and then then it's okay and it's fortified my dear you have been so wrong right so i'll just let this strain out a bit and um i'll ensure that i don't overpress it so the moisture doesn't get into the oil so this is our carrot oil ready and i just filled it into a 200 ml bottle and this is what we've got right now the good thing about this type um this method of making carrot oil which is the heat press method is that it does not get oxidated so quick just like the other method which is the cold press because the cold press is doesn't have a long shelf life so i prefer this this is my best method of processing carrot oil because it has a longer shelf life it can last up to a year or even above like this with this method as long as the moisture didn't get into the oil you're good to go so this is it guys if you like you can add some vitamin e tablets the one that comes in capsule into it and for it to last longer it can last up to a year and six months when you do so or even two years so this is me applying it on my skin guys so i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more healthy living tips okay thanks for watching guys have a nice day bye